language is everything in this business. You can make words mean anything to get people to do anything. Words are to a salesman what a slab of marble was to Michelangelo. Remember when Clinton said, that depends on what the meaning of is is? What he was trying to say was, who gives a fuck what the meaning of is is? I'm the fucking President of the United States and you're not, dick. See what I mean? He was a fucking Michelangelo with words. Well, Rick, you know, Confucius said, without knowing the force of words, it's impossible to know men. Well, Confucius was confused. Do you think Joe Montana was thinking about words when he came from behind to beat the Cincinnati Bengals in the 1989 Super Bowl? Fuck no. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Got it? Good. You can start by getting me a cup of coffee. Hey, wait a minute, Jack. Come here. I want to talk to you. I like you, man. Now, do you mind jumping into a scalding inferno for me? Shit, be your own man. Now get the fuck out of here and get my coffee. Jesus. Hey. Uh, hey, how you doing? Until now, decaffeinated. So you want to meet up later? Why wait till later? I, I hear you're a quick study. Uh, could you hold on just one second? Thanks. All right, so what were you saying? the difference between a salesman who drives a Hummer and goes to Aruba on the weekends and a guy who drives a Buick and goes sees his mother on the weekends? Bad hey. intentions. And a little bit of hate never hurt anybody either. Look, why do you think Mike Tyson put guys in the hospital on a regular basis? Talent? Fuck! Ernie Shavers had talent. Bad intentions equals money and pussy. If you remember anything I say, remember that. Bad intentions equals money and pussy. Uh, Jack, come here a minute. I'm going to show you the master salesman in action. Bomb squad. Yeah, this is Rick from Chapman Hill Products. Uh, sir, did I catch you at a bad time? No, you haven't caught me at a bad time. Sir, you've been specially selected from a random demographic. To receive a special offer mm -hmm. from Chapman Hill Prize. Mm -hmm. Our religious collectibles reinforce the fact that we need each other to stay strong when life is serving us nothing but double bogeys. These symbols represent the essential fabric that holds great civilizations together. We need that, lest we forget and replace it by boldly pursuing material things to fill the emptiness in our hearts. Well, I certainly can't argue with that. So why don't you tell me a few things about your line of religious sculptures? Sir, here's an item that you will fall in love with. We can barely keep them in. 
It's a porcelain girl praying by the cross wall plaque. 895, a symbol of innocence and reverence. As a little girl prays against the cross. What does the little girl look like? I think, I think a little like a Cabbage Patch doll, except with a bigger head. No, I mean the Cabbage Patch dolls had the bigger head. Very cool. What else do you have? You know, in porcelain. Yeah, we had these really inspiring porcelain praying hands bookends. Yeah, they come with or without sparkles. Jack, know your product. I don't care if they're oriental rugs or toilet seats. Are the sparkles molded in with the hands, or are they just put on with adhesive? Yeah, like what happens when the sparkles start to fall off? Fuck! Look, we guarantee everything we sell, and I'll go to the wall for you against our distributor if he tries to bone us. I mean, misrepresent our products. Well, I guess I have enough books now that it would conceivably merit some bookends. But I'm looking for something that will inspire my entire family every day. I was kind of waiting for you to say something like that. That tells me you're not just being pretentious about your spirituality. Jesus' philosophy is something you and your family embrace. Something you actually believe in. And I can't sell something unless I actually believe in it. Well, I really like what you're saying. But I really have to feel connected with this. How can I be sure that this will have, you know, it? Why do you think I've been working here so long? Just because this stuff is pretty? These items have left an indelible mark on my whole identity. When I look at the Jesus with children nightlight, I feel like I'm, part of me is there. You know, just like when Jesus was sitting there, you know, with the children. Hey, could you hold on for a second? Who said you could sit down? Oh, hi, you back? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I can't believe I'm hearing this. We just have to get together sometime. Well, you can tell me about that nightlight. Like, do I need anything else, like batteries? Oh, it just plugs right into the wall. Check it out. Jesus with Children Nightlight. An inspirational tableau casts a warm glow into the night with this translucent jade porcelain scenario featuring Jesus and children. UL approved cord and ball, 1495. Gregory, you're gonna wanna stay away from the red wire. Yeah, got it. Anyway. I've never really heard of jade slash porcelain before, but I need to see it in blue if possible. Not blue. Stay away from blue. Yeah, red. Got it. We do. We do offer the teal. I'm. I'm gonna insist on the blue. No, red. So the teal sounds good then. No, it's gotta be blue. Jewel approved. Shit. I think he hung up. Fuck him. You know, in this business, you have to get the shit kicked out of you once in a while to really learn the game. You could quote me on that. If you let one call ruin your game, then you ain't got no game. If I roll some sucker, I figure it's God's way of saying to that guy, wake the fuck up. Smell the fucking coffee. So in that sense, I'm doing good. I'm part of God's plan. It's kind of like a fine piece of Persian silk woven to perfection. You can't explain why it works, it just does! Ooh, you okay? Hey, did you get my coffee? Fuck! <laughs>